Hi guys, you're on VRM24.com and today we'll disassemble the smartphone Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus. At the very beginning we need to remove the card tray. For this we take a special tool, insert it into the hole and push out the card tray. Please note that the microphone hole is located next to the card tray. After that, we need to heat the surface of the back cover to approximately 70 Celsius degree or 160 degree Fahrenheit. For this we use a heating mat, you can use a hair dryer. And as we see, the temperature rises to the temperature we need. And after 5 or 7 minutes we can proceed to the assembly. To detach the back cover, we first use a thin metal tool. We try to leave the cover slightly, because the cover is a little bit recessed. And then we try to slip the thin plastic film under the back cover. We have to be as careful as possible not to accidentally damage anything with a metal tool. And then we run the film along the edge, cutting off the adhesive base. We always need to be careful in the area of the side buttons, because in this area cables can be located. We also need to be careful in the area of the cameras, so as not to touch and damage the lenses. And we open the back cover, we have nothing on the cover. After that we need to disconnect the wireless charging connector and the NFC connector. Ok, we unscrew the screws at the top. We use a 1.5mm Phillips screwdriver or H3O. After removing the screws, we can lift and turn over the cover with a wireless charging. And with a non-metal tool, we disconnect the battery connector. Ok, we move on to unscrewing the screws at the bottom. The screws seem to be all the same, but we still recommend placing them on a special surface in an easy to remember order for assembly. And we can detach the cover with a loudspeaker. We find the right place to hook the cover and lift it off. And we can remove the assembly completely. Then we disconnect the display cable connector, the interboard cable connector, the second interboard cable connector. And we move on to disconnecting the cable connectors at the top on the motherboard. Then we can put the cables away to the side. Now we need to unscrew the screws that secure the subboard. The screwdriver is the same 1.5mm Phillips screwdriver but the screws may be different, so it is better to place them separately from the previous ones. And we unscrew the last screw and we need to detach the subboard. We use tweezers, we find the right place where we can hook and lift the subboard. We have to be careful because the subboard is recessed into the display frame. We remove the subboard. On the subboard we have the charging port, microphone and card holder on the back side. Since the microphone hole is next to the card tray, we need to check if we will damage the microphone if we insert a tool into the hole. As we can see, the hole in the middle cover is L-shaped. At the end of the hole there is a gasket and a mesh that are perpendicular to the hole and pressed to the subboard 
and the microphone hole. And the microphone itself is located on the other side. So we can say that it is almost impossible to damage the microphone in this way. Then we can proceed to unscrewing the screws at the top. The screwdriver is the same 1.5 mm Phillips. The screws hold the core with the antenna transmission lines and the camera assembly. After that, we can detach the core with antennas, hook on the edge in the right place and detach it. And we can disconnect the fingerprint sensor connector and disconnect the front camera connector. Unfortunately, we will not remove the camera itself, it is firmly glued. Then we see that nothing is in our way and detach the motherboard and turn it over. Now we need to detach the three rear cameras. The cameras are connected to each other, so we need to take that into account and be careful. Ok, this is the circuit board and we move on to detaching the speaker. First, we unscrew one screw with a Philips screwdriver 1.5 mm. Then we need to find place where we can pry up and remove the speaker. We see that there is nothing in the way and remove the speaker. At this point we have complete our disassembly. Thank you for watching and see you around or in the new videos. Ok guys, now we're done, thank you for watching, if you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, read our articles on our website, take care of yourself and until next video.